Oh, this is a good one. We were so scared we were going to get caught with this one over here, Megamind over here. We were at, listen to this, we go to Portillo's, give it up. And I've been dying, you know, in Chicago. Okay, I'm from Chicago. In Chicago, they had this restaurant called Al Woods. Oh, did I love this place. Because Al Woods had this uh, salad on the menu called the Chop Salad. It's great. It's all chopped up. It's uh, lettuce all chopped up, bacon, these tiny little noodles, uh, green onions, chicken, and uh, their house dressing. And we love this salad. Oh, this is one of the, you ever find a salad that you just, uh, it's just better than any salad. And they've just done something with the dressing where it really is hitting all the little sensors that you need. And you can just sit there and fucking eat it. While Portillo's that just opened here in town where I tried to get a hat. They wouldn't let me get one of their hats. <laughs> uh, they have a chopped salad as well that is very similar to the one we used to like. So we got two chopped salads, and we said, you know, we're going to pick up some chopped salads. We're going to drive 30 minutes into the mountains, and we're going to go eat these salads at a park. And that's what we did, and we drove 35 minutes from Portillo's, and we have our salads, and this is a beautiful day. Every day here is beautiful, by the way. And we get to this beautiful park surrounded by the mountains, and it's got a little lake and palm trees, and we park the car and we walk 15 minutes to these picnic benches we see this really cool bird and then we have a quick back and forth with the ranger of the park who saw us interacting with the bird and i had to pretend to talk to him for a minute then i threw uh um well that comes later actually so we take out our salads and what did we realize when we took out our salads? There was only one fork. There was only one fork. There was only one fork. Now, why is this? Why was Mike so mad when there was only one fork? Because he specifically asked Jules when we left Portillo's to check the bag and make sure there were forks. Well, she saw the one fork, assumed there were two. Said yes, drove 35 minutes. Now, you get two salads. You're starving. You walk 15 minutes from the car to the picnic table. You start eating. You see only one fork. Well, you're really in a predicament. What did I uh, tell you this salad was? Chop salad. I mean, you can't eat it with the knife that came along with the fork. You know, we tried. Uh, it's too thin. It, you're not going to get any. It's going to take forever. And I looked at her, and I really felt bad for her because she was either going to have, she was just going to have to wait for me to finish my whole salad. Which I would have. Because, of course, I get the fork. Okay? There's no, it's not who gets the fork. I get the fork. She forgot the fork. She thought I was going to start screaming. So she's like, you could have the fork. And I said, you know what? Let me go back to the car and see if we have another fork. Maybe there's another one of these little plastic forks that came with some bullshit food that we have in the club box. And I knew there wasn't. And then she starts going, I'll go to the car, I'll go to the car. I go, sit. And I go, and then I didn't realize how far the car was away. You know, I'm walking for 15 full minutes in the sun, and, I, and my salads are sitting out there getting steamed. My chicken was all woody by the time I get back. And I'm looking, I knew there was no fork in the car. So I get to the car, I go, what the fuck am I going to do? Because there's no fork. I'm looking all over. I'm looking at every little thing in the car that I have. And I've got quite a, a bit of tools in the back. My overlanding setup in the back, I've got some good stuff. And then I see this small Patagonia bag and I go, oh, my coffee kit is in there. And I get this bright idea. I open it up in my coffee kit. I got this little coffee kit to make coffee on the road. And in the coffee kit is a metal coffee tablespoon scoop. It's one of those measuring spoons that's about this long, metal, and then this deep at the end. It looks like an old man's pipe almost. I run back to the picnic bench and I go, here, you're eating with this. And this bitch 
how to eat a salad you've never seen it with a measuring spoon a big metal fucking measuring she looked so stupid i said if anyone ever catches us imagine if some listener ran into us and she's sitting there like this and it's spilling everywhere you can't eat this salad with this coffee it measuring spoon like she it. looked so fucking stupid when the spoon reached the mouth i had to like flip the, it upside down it, to this drop is how retarded she, she would go like this that was the only this one and, and I'm sitting some there lady like that. walked by me and I made eye contact eye contact with her like mid mouth drop and you she look saw the whole so thing. stupid man so if you ever I'm telling you that would have been a moment to catch us paparazzi style <laughs> long lens imagine you run in and you're like dude she was eating her salad out of this big measuring it would spoon be like the Bieber she's burrito. retarded yeah it would be like when Bieber ate uh, which was a prank exactly but... okay thank you for <laughs> listening to that story it was so so cute when we did it and you know what we learned a thing or well, two well isn't it nice that i made such a fool out of myself and had such suffering isn't it nice that salad? i went and found this measuring spoon which she would have never found by the way if i if she had gone to the car to find a fork she would have came back crying <laughs>